Okay, let's open up Inkscape. Maximize our page. Disable the snapping tool. I'm going to zoom out a little. Let's set our printer paper size. Mine is 8.5 by 11. Let's import our picture. I'm using Stratplan's high resolution. And as you can see, the resolution is real high on this, which I love, which means if we uh, expand it, it's not going to get blurry. So yay for that. Okay, open it. Click OK. Now, um, since we're just going to be using this area, it's going to be a whole lot easier just to crop this out and get rid of the rest because we're going to be have to be uh, dragging this around and it's just easier to work with when it's smaller. So, uh, um, well, first thing we need to do is bring in our guidelines. So let's do that. And what we need to do is uh, make this area totally horizontal so it lines up with this, one of these lines. So we double left click it, drag it around. I have to get it perfect right now because all we're doing is kind of get an idea of how vertical it is. That's pretty close. So what we're going to do now is crop this area here. So take your, okay, deselect that. Take your rectangle tool. And we're just going to carve out a little area here. Okay, hit select. Okay, shift. And then select the pattern. Go to object. Clip. And set. Okay. So this is going to be a whole lot easier to work with this little patch here. Let's drag our line over. Okay, let's, oh, where'd it go? Try again. Okay, let's zoom in and see how close we are. Hope you can bear with me. Um, my allergies are acting up and it's affecting my voice, so I apologize if I'm not speaking very well. Okay, that's real close. <clears throat> so let's deselect it. We're going to double click it twice. We got these corners. We just drag it around. And we take our blue line. Drag it over. Okay. Okay, this needs to come a little this way. See how much easier this is to work with when you make it smaller? It's really a pain when it's that whole guitar pattern and trying to lug it around. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> okay, the, um, the point of reference we're using is the fact that from the point the center of this hole to the center of this hole is 71 millimeters and we are set on millimeters so let's go to our rectangle tool we'll make us a rectangle and the object of this rectangle is to get the center of these holes to fit into the top top and bottom of this rectangle okay seven one period zero zero lock it and enter okay now we're going to make it transparent yep as you can see this uh, needs to be bigger so it'll match this hole here so let's Drag it just, okay, we are locked, so that's what we want. Let's drag it a little bit. Boy, this is so much easier to 
Let's get rid of this for a minute. Okay, it's a little too big. Let's zoom in. Okay, that looks good. the center here and the center here, so we're good. Okay, let's take our rectangle out of the way. And uh, I had tried to use an ellipse in here to make this, but I'll show you what I did and how it, this doesn't work for this kind of thing. Okay. And let's make it transparent. Okay, let's zoom in. As you can see here at the bottom half, it looks almost perfect. But up here, it's not. The problem with this is, um, let's go to the node tool. There aren't any handles here that we can drag the sides with. We have this here, which can make it a semicircle. We can't use that. And we have this one and this one. They're just measuring tools. So the ellipse is not going to work. So let's delete that. And what we're going to do is draw. Oh, we need to bring our, our center line back. We're going to draw a straight line here and curve it, and I'll show you. Okay, let's go to the BZA tool. We're just to the edge of that blue line. We start here, one left click, click here, and double click here. Let's uh, change that color. Okay, shift, red. I wanna be able to see it better. Let's go to our stroke width. Changes to 0.5. Okay, go to your node tool and just drag this like so. And so you got your handles here, but with the ellipse, you don't have these, but these are, are necessary if you're going to do this. Okay, it looks pretty good down here. Now what we're going to do is duplicate this and flip it. Okay, select it. Now hit Control D. And then hit your horizontal flip here. And drag this. Oh, undo that. Get hold of this and drag it over. Okay, the, this is isn't exactly the same as this over here, so we're going to take our node tool. Just drag your handles. Okay. Okay, that looks good. Now we're going to make our holes here. Your holes aren't absolutely necessary because you really don't need them until you drop your output jack into the cavity and your jack has your screw holes in it and you can mark them that way. But I like to be kind of precise so uh, we're going to do this anyway. You can leave out this whole part here if you want but go to your circle tool. Select it. <clears throat> Hit shift and black. Okay, let's unlock it. 
And the way we make this totally round is that the width and the height are the, the same uh, measurement. So we're going to go four, tab, four, and enter, and lock it. Now let's make it transparent. And drag it over here. Let's zoom in a little. You know what? This uh, isn't right. Okay, now it's centered. Let me check. Let's see it. Okay, it's centered there too. So now let's take our and drag it. Okay, that looks centered on there. Okay, let's duplicate this one. Control D. Pull it out and drag it down. Put it in here. Okay. Let's go to our uh, coordinates thing here. Not true. Okay, X is horizontal, isn't it? Yep. Okay. Let's go with the minus sign. Okay, let's write on it. Now let's remove the filter from this. Move the filter from this one. Okay, let's zoom out. Let's turn on the snapping tool. Grab your BZA tool. Left click once here. Left click twice down here. Okay, now we remove our guidelines. Delete all guides. And let's zoom out. We're going to take our pattern away. Extend this a little. Okay, let's group it now. Make it all the same color so we get shift and black. Now we'd make the stroke width all the same. This should be on millimeters. I don't know how it got there. Go to 0.5. Okay. Now we're going to drag it up. Oh, undo that. Let's group that again. So it'll travel. Okay, there we go. Now drag it up. Let's take off that snapping tool. Drag it up to your page. Okay. That looks real good. Let's zoom out. Okay, I'm going to save this project because I have a Frankenstrat project I'm going to do in the future, and I'm going to need this. So, go to uh, Save Documents, and we type in here, Output Tech Cavity, Enter. Okay, that's saved. 
So I hope this is helpful to you. And uh, if you like my content, please click the button and subscribe. Thank you for watching.